So that's undefined. There is another type, the next type that we're going to talk about in JavaScript, is called null. Null is another type in JavaScript which contains just one possible value, which is null. Okay, so that's the type system with only one possible value. It's kind of like undefined in that sense. So just like undefined is a type with just one value, undefined, null is a type with just one value, null. Let me actually demonstrate the undefined and uh, null so that you know how they look like. So just like you can have uh, uh, allocate values like Boolean and string, you can allocate values like undefined and null, okay? So let's say I, let me actually clear all these things out. Let's say a var a, and then uh, I do a console.log of a, what is the value that's gonna get printed? The value is undefined, like I said. Until you define it, until you give a value to a variable, it is gonna have the value undefined. So if I run this, I get the old value. This is because it's holding on to the old value. So let me right click and uh, choose reload and run. Make sure you choose this when you are changing the variable declaration or something like that. Because this, when you don't do this, you're basically running statements one after the other, so it remembers the previous state. So in order to have a clean context, always, of course, let's clear this, and then right click and say, reload and run. When I do that, you get the actual value, which is undefined. A is undefined because I have variable A, and I have not defined it. I haven't given it a value. Okay, now I can give it a value and say a equals uh, true or a equals false. And now let me actually reload and run again. Now we see a has the value of false. Now I could change this to say a equals null. In which case, when I do console.log of a again, a is gonna have the value of null. Okay, so I've cleared out the value of a and I've made it as null. I'm explicitly saying that I want a to contain a non-value. 